EastEnders favorite Sabi and Lauren Branning appear to be dead after a horrific fall, but how did they film the dramatic scene? In what is already being dubbed the most explosive Christmas episode ever of the BBC soap, viewers watched in panic as the Branning sisters plunged to their doom. Abby and Lauren, who are being written out of EastEnders after more than a decade, showed no signs of waking up as their distraught parents looked on. EastEnders bosses pulled all the stops to give Lorna Fitzgerald and Jacqueline Joss a spectacular exit, which saw the actresses complete a terrifying stunt under extreme conditions. Both the Branning sisters were flung from the roof of the Queen Vic in heartbreaking scenes which left viewers in tears. But there was also drama behind the scenes as the actresses were made to do their own stunts and did actually fall from the top of the pub. Speaking at a press day last week, Jacqueline and Lorna revealed they had to film at 2.00m with a wind and rain machine in the freezing cold. Footage from the shoots shows the girls falling onto a platform that was built next to the actual Queen Vic roof. When asked about the stun, Jacqueline said, it was, freezing cold. It was 2.00 in the morning. Lorna was not scared at all, I was terrified. But in fairness she could see where she was falling and I was falling backwards. Lorna said that they did their own stunts and joked that it was only a fall of about two feet. However, on screen Dad Jack Wood came to their defense and admitted he would not have been brave enough to do it. He said, it was ten feet they built a platform with some boxes and they actually had to fall backwards off the roof. I wouldn't have done it. They were very brave. The platform was very high. Stacy told Max that he should have fallen off the Queen Vic roof instead of Bradley, so the despairing father climbed onto the ledge and threatened to jump. Abby and Lauren frantically ran up to save their dad, telling Max they still loved him, before both climbing dangerously onto the ledge. Max agreed to come down but a strong gust of wind brought tragedy as the sisters were flung from the roof of the Queen Vic and crashed to the concrete. A heartbroken Max watched on in horror as his daughters plummeted to the floor, before rushing down the stairs to check if they were still alive. Danya, Max and Stacy looked distraught as they stared down at Abby and Lauren's seemingly lifeless bodies. Tanya Branning has made a dramatic comeback and exposed Max's darkest secrets, revealing to her daughters, the Beals and Stacy Fowler that he murdered Stephen, threatened Bobby and tried to kill Jane. Max desperately tried to delete Jane's incriminating voicemail messages, but he failed to get rid of them all, allowing Tanya to reveal his dastardly deeds. There were callbacks to the epic Christmas Day episode in 2007 where Max and Stacy's affair was exposed, as Tanya worked out they were seeing each other again. After a fight with Ian and a scuffle with Phil, where he was nearly shot, all of Max's loved ones washed their hands of the schemer leaving him a broken man. But the worst was yet to come as both his daughters were left fighting for their lives. The EastEnders Christmas Day episode was the most action-packed in the soap's history, according to actor Jake Wood. Jake Wood told Mirror Online that the dramatic scripts were the best he's read during his 12 years in Walford and hoped they would leave fans on the edge of their seats. The soap star was proved right when he said viewers wouldn't be able to pause to take a breath while watching the emotional scenes. He admitted that the shocking twists and turns will undoubtedly change Albert Square forever, but believes there can be redemption for Max and hopes there is life for his character beyond this epic storyline. EastEnders continues on Boxing Day on BBC One at 7.30pm.